working with layers. My name is Clarence Mack, Product Specialist at Exacto. Caustics is a digital estimating software that offers a wide range of functionality. Caustics will read hand-drawn sketches, PDFs, 2D and 3D CAD files and BIM models. Caustics users can carry out on-screen measurement, create life-linked workbooks, conduct auto-revisioning and extract BIM data. During last week's webinar, we talked about scaling and calibrating. In review, we demonstrated how to get the correct scale in different drawing types, and we covered both metric and imperial measurement. You can view last week's webinar by going to our website link, www.exacto.com slash webinars. Caustics has the advantage of being able to support a wide range of drawing file formats and utilize the intelligence contained within. Layers are available in many intelligent drawing file types and can be hidden or shown in Caustics to help measurement easier. Caustics users can view the layers through the Layers tab and control them with the Layers section on the task pane. CAD drawings will generally have inbuilt layers. Vector PDFs may also have inbuilt layers. Vector PDFs which don't have inbuilt layers now automatically get layers from various types and colors of geometry. This is an update in Costex version 5.0. Raster drawings do not have layers because there is less intelligence in these drawing file types, whereas bin files will have layers, but generally the model tree is used for sorting or controlling a model view. Now we'll go to Costex and look at how layers are displayed in various file types. I'll show you how to hide and invert layers, how to filter, safe filtered views, and generate layers on a PDF. Let's open a drawing, then click on the Layers tab. Now the available layers for the current drawing will show. Since we've selected a raster image file, as you can see, we only have one layer called raster image. We can click the box next to the layer name to switch the layer on and off. Now if we go back to the drawing list and open a CAD drawing, now you have the option to change the background to white or black here under in the display section and we'll click the Layers tab to examine the layers available for this particular drawing. The list changes to show current drawings layers. If you cannot identify the layer content by the layer name and therefore not knowing which box to untick or tick, Cossacks users can also switch off layers visually. Now, to do that, with the Layers tab open, just hover your cursor over the drawing lines and items will highlight in orange. Holding the Shift key will highlight other lines in the same layer as the selected line. And if you wish to turn that particular, this particular layer off, you can simply click 
and that layer will be turned off. So clicking the highlighted line will remove the layer from view. The layers or layers removed from view can be shown by clicking on the invert button. So I've removed this layer previously and by pressing on the invert button, this layer is now shown. To reinstate all layers, I click the show all button here. Now let's change the view by removing these layers. And if you wish to highlight the text layer, you put your mouse near text and hold down the T key on your keyboard and you'll be able to select the text layer. And if you want to save the view, you press the Save View button and you can name this particular saved view. and you press insert. Now this saved view will be available in the views tab. So if I'm ready to measure I can switch to the drawings tab and then bring out the previously saved view by clicking on the saved view name and then when I'm ready to measure I click the drawings tab again to measure. So let's say I wish to measure the number of sanitary fixtures. I save the view. I switch to the sanitary saved view and then I do my measurements. Similarly, let's say if I want to measure the bedroom areas, I go to my views and switch to another view and then I switch back to the drawings tab select the dimension group and then I can measure the different bedroom areas. Now we'll open a PDF drawing. Usually PDFs will not come with layers unless the designer chooses to include layer information when creating the PDF drawing. A, we have a drawing file optimization guideline available. This document is available. Um, if you wish to receive a copy, please contact us. Uh, as you can see, when a PDF is created, the designer can choose to whether include or don't include layer information. So this is a document uh, containing drawing file creation guidelines. Now let's look at the layers available for our PDF drawing by clicking on the Layers tab. Cossix has automatically generated layers based on the line colors. These layers are not available if we open the same drawing in a PDF reader. So if I, this is the same drawing opened in a PDF reader, as you can see there is no layers available. So we can filter the view again just by highlighting the lines that we want to show or that we want to hide. Now with a BIM model, Costex can also display 
the inbuilt layers. However, we recommend using the model tree to sort the model view. Now, to recap, layers are very useful for removing clutter from the drawing and allows the user to show only those layers which are relevant to the required measurement. The fact that Caustic supports the intelligence of vector PDFs and CAD files means that layers can be used to the client's advantage. With the new features available in Caustic 5.0, that is generating layers in vector PDFs and saving filtered views, it's never been easier to use the layer functions to its full potential. I thank you for participating in today's Caustic webinar. Please contact us by email or call us if you have any questions. Today's webinar, along with previous webinar recordings, will be available for review at our website, www.exacto.com/webinars. Thank you.